to quadratic equations an introduction the word quadratic comes from the word quadratus the Latin word for square and this is st. Peter's Square in Vatican City and this is because it's a square in Rome where Latin was spoken in institutions of higher learning such as the University of Illinois pictured here central open areas for for used for student leisure and for traveling between buildings are called quads quadratic equations create the shape of a parabola whose general shape is used in arches in building construction parabolic dishes for receiving and focusing electromagnetic wave particles focusing a light source into a beam as in a flashlight and for tracing or calculating projectile motion this basketball player while making the shot unconsciously programs a quadratic equation path with the purpose of tracing an accurate parabolic trajectory through the hoop one of my favorite math teachers on YouTube Minkus BC made a video introducing quadratic equations and I use his explanation here his video somehow lost its sound so I'm recreating his instruction here this is Joe quadratic a basketball player with his equations we're going to look at how a quadratic equation comes about here Joe has a linear equation something like you've seen before 3n plus 5n minus 2 equals 0 his first step might be to say I'm going to take this minus 2 and move it to the other side of the equal sign where it changes to a positive 2 or just 2 for short his next step might be to join these two n terms together where together they make 8n his next step is to look at what it takes to get n by itself to solve for n since n is multiplied by 8 he solves by dividing both sides of the equation by 8 8 over 8 on the left cancel each other so he's left with n equals 2 over 8 which simplifies to 1 fourth but he rewrites it in decimal form as n equals 0.25 everything is right with the world the birds are singing and everyone's happy now let's look at the right hand side here and we see that we have the same equation except here above and to the right of the first n Joe places a little 2 right away it takes away that step he cannot take 3n squared and 5n and add them they are unlike terms so right away he has a problem this is what a quadratic equation looks like he has a squ it has a squared sign above it here now we'll go over the general form of a quadratic equation this is the first term of a quadratic equation note that it has a squared sign remember that the word quadratic comes from the word quadratus which is square in Latin and this is the second term of a quadratic equation it has the same letter as the squared term but it is not squared we have a zero on the right side if it is not a zero on the right side we will try to make the right hand side of the equation zero we have some number represented by this a times that x squared the number may be one and if it is one we will not need to write it down because no number in front of the num of the letter assumes one we have some other number well it really could be the same number as the a now this b here that multiplies this second x in the equation this number b is added or subtracted we put a plus sign here now but it could be a minus sign if this number b is a negative number and quite often we'll have some number at the end of the left side which is added or subtracted that we call c that C does not have a letter after it this is your general quadratic equation in the form x squared plus BX plus C equals 0 this first term with the x squared is your quadratic term this is what makes it a quadratic equation the second term is called our linear term it forms a line if you graph it by itself and finally this third term is called the constant term it always has the same constant value no matter what X is with no X next to it the value of this term never changes no matter what the value is for X 
Let's look at some examples in the lower left corner of the screen. 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Or you could have x squared minus 6x plus 2 equals 0. Or you could have 2x squared plus 5 equals 0 and have no linear term. Or you might have 5x squared minus 2x equals 0 and have no constant term. And of course the right hand side may not start out to be 0. You could have 13p squared minus 5p and you might have a 7 on the right side. The right hand side does not have to start out to be 0 and you can have other letters other than x like p like we have here or q's or s's or r's or whatever. These letters however should always be the same in a quadratic equation and this is your whole family of quadratic equations. What do they all have in common? Something with a squared sign. From here we're going to progress toward learning how to solve them. Because of the squared term we need to use different techniques for solving than we use with linear equations and they will be showed in future lessons. This has been an introduction to quadratic equations. Thanks for viewing.